got good news first this time. We got you some dustin-approved junk food and that six-pack that you requested. Oh yeah, and we found Vecna. Only the bad news is that he's in that other, darker, much scarier dimension that we told you about, and the gate's closed, so we have no way of getting to him. Like, he's entirely shut off to us, so basically you're screwed. And no, no, I know that you were already screwed, but now you're like doubly, triply oh, screwed. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome back to CBS Mornings. That's actor Maya Hawk, best known for her role as the funny and anxious Robin on the hit Netflix series Stranger Things. Hawk is in the middle of filming the show's highly anticipated final season. Can't wait for that. But that is not all that she is doing. She's been writing music since she was a, ch a kid. And her third album, Chaos Angel, is out today. Hawk talked with Anthony Mason about her new music, Dropping Out of Juilliard and her creative collaboration with her dad, that would be Ethan Hawke. I was born with my foot in the door and my mind in the gutter and my guts on the floor. What do you get from music? For me, all creativity comes from the same source. Like, to have whatever it is that you feel inside exist somewhere outside. Missing out, missing out, missing out. You can figure out the language of exactly what that feeling is and capture it. Um, it's extremely satisfying, like capturing a, a firefly. And it kind of can, if you do it well, it can light up the room, you know? You struck the chaos angel. Maya Hawke's new album, Chaos Angel, is her third. Even before she was acting, she was writing songs. I, you know, struggled with a learning disability, and it was really hard for me to read stuff, but I would, if I put things to melody, I could memorize them better. Oh, interesting. And then I would use them as a tool for communication uh -huh. because I found, at least in my family, if you communicated through art, you were heard a lot more clearly. The daughter of actors Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman, Maya was drawn to the family trade after appearing in a high school play. It made my social life better, my thoughts richer, my relationship to my body healthier. Like. Yeah. It got into my bones. You're hooked on acting after this performance. Hooked. I've always loved this spot. Me Actually. too. I've hung out on that grass and I've made a lot of wishes in this fountain. <laughs> Hawk used to hang out at Lincoln Center when her dad was in plays here. That was my first time on stage and it was so exciting. Later, she went to drama school at Lincoln Center. What was it like to be in Juilliard, even just for a year? It was extremely hard and so wonderful. When there's so much pressure from the industry to be thin, be attractive, be castable, be on social media, be on, like, there's a whole other world of work that is so separate from what acting actually is. You didn't feel all of those things here? None of those things are present in there. Yeah. But in 2017, Hawk had to leave after she was offered the part of Joe March in the BBC production of Little Women. I can't help that I like boys' clothes and work and manners. Being born a girl is the most disappointing thing that ever happened to me. I loved Joe in Little Women my whole life. And going to Ireland to do that, it felt like whatever, where the fates were pulling. And the fallout was gonna be the fallout. Hawk had auditioned for Juilliard by performing a monologue based on Flannery O'Connor's journals. I can never seem to escape myself unless I'm writing. And strangely, I'm never more myself than when I'm writing. That became the basis for the new film, Wildcat, directed by her father, in which she stars as the Southern Gothic author. Were you nervous about working with your dad at all? No, no, not at all. I was nervous about talking to people about working with my dad. I still am, but actually doing it, I wasn't what, nervous at all. Why were you nervous about that? Taking a purely like love-based flame and and then, you know walking out in the wind with it is um, intimidating. You know, yeah. but working together wasn't. It sounds like you've basically been having a, an artistic conversation with your father from the beginning. I think that's absolutely true. Which is a pretty cool thing. It's very, very lucky. Especially I've noticed that he started to like really blow up on Instagram as like an art guru. Yeah. And I'm his first student, you know. What if a demon did invade Victor's home? As an actress, Hawk has quickly become known for a certain kind of role. I was talking to someone recently and they were like, 
Do you have a lot of anxiety? We've learned something new about Vecna slash Henry slash one. He's a number like 11, only a sick, evil male, child murdering version of her with really bad skin. But my first role that people mostly saw me in was Stranger Things, where, you know, Robin is funny and anxious and dorky. And so that builds a world that people are comfortable with seeing you in. You think you have evil Russians plotting against our country on tape and you're trying to translate, but you haven't figured out a single word because you didn't realize the Russians use an entirely different alphabet than we do. Sound about right? You talk about this sort of getting cast in, in anxious parts, but you're in... It's the honor of a lifetime. Hello, everybody. Ah! Oh my gosh, I am just such a huge fan of yours. And now here I am meeting you face to face. <laughs> Hawk okay, is the voice uh, of anxiety you Get coffee, manage your calendar, walk your dog, in Inside Out 2. Wow, you have a lot of energy. Did you have to bring out your most anxious self to audition for it? Well, you know, I really, I, I, I have this character that I play in my own life when I'm nervous about something that I know I shouldn't be. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to do that at my audition. And I, I, I just kind of got into this p person that I have inside of me and, uh, and just let her go. And, um, and that's how I got the part, I think. When Hawk wraps her acting work, she plans to tour her new album. Music, she says, is becoming a more equal focus in her life. There is something remarkable that happens when a song sort of lifts off on its own. It's amazing. What do you feel when you hear that? It's very rare when a shared idea starts to bloom. Yeah. It's a real high. It's so interesting to see how creative she is in so many different ways. And I'm sure a lot of that, as she said, was growing up in their family where to communicate, if you communicated artistically, you were heard more easily. I like her so much. She's so raw. She comes about as so genuine. And I just, it's the most likable feature of like an actor or a celebrity or which, which of which you know, she's kind of all of those things. She's all of those things. Yeah. And the, the whole thing about anxiety is fascinating because when you when you see how talented he, she is, you can't imagine that she would be anxious about it. But obviously, she uses it. Well, she's an incredible performer. She's an incredible singer. She's an incredible actress. And I'm always a little bit wary, as, as I'm sure you are, Anthony, when we have to, when we set up interviews with the children of famous actors or singers, because yeah. sometimes they're not always rising to the level of their famous uh, celebrity parents. But in often cases, like in this one, she's blowing me out. I mean, I love her in Stranger Things. Yes. And the music is as compelling as anything she puts on film. Yeah, what's interesting about her, especially as an, as an actor, is she's willing to take real risks mm. and, and challenge herself. I mean, even just going off to Ireland, she had to give up being a Juilliard because you couldn't be working at the same time. Uh, to, to go take that part, it was, it was a big jump for her, but she said, I wanted to be an adult and I wanted to do it. Mm. Big jump, incredibly brave for an, yeah. a young yeah. actor.